So let's start. Sit in cross legged position. Grab the butt cheek out. So you're sitting on your sitting bone. So use your hands to move the flesh up. So your spine could be tall and straight. Your torso is tall and straight. Shoulders up and roll it back. When you are ready, relax your hands onto your knees so you're relaxing your shoulders. Closing the right, surviving on the mat. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Deeply in. And I'll contract the belly, breathing in for two, three, four, breathing out for two, three, four, breathing in, breathing out. Two more breaths. In for four. And out for four. One last inhale for two, three, four. And exhale for two, three, four. Keeping the eyes closed, coming back to your normal breath. Feel your sitting bones sinking onto the mat and grounding your body and your mind. The eco breath in and out has balanced your O2, the oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body. Feeling the balance in the breath. When you are in class today, let's Try to breathe in for four, breathe out for four. So you are equalizing and deepening your breath. And if you want to be more relaxed, try to breathe in for four and breathe out for six. So you're activating your parasympathetic system. Intention setting, set an intention for today's class or share my intention of this week. Life is full of unexpected turn and twists. The breath is what you can rely on. With the intention in mind, we're going to sing three om to start the class. Deep inhale into the belly. Second inhale for Om. Oh. One more inhale for Om. Feeling the remaining vibration and gently open up your eyes. We're going to start with some simple neck stretches. So we're going to um, have our feet into butterfly position. Grab the butt cheek out so you're sitting tall and straight. The first one is you're going to open up your chest, look up, inhale, and let your neck hang. Deeply inhale. Can all of you roll the shoulders back? Maybe lift the shoulder up towards your ear and push it back. And inhale, look up towards the ceiling, holding it here for two breaths. Deepening your inhale. Open up the chest, shoulder blades back together and let your neck hang more. One more in. And 
Oh, when you exhale slowly, bring the chin towards the chest, curl your back. Let your neck hang, shake your neck for no, for anything that doesn't serve you in life. Shake your head, yes, to amazing energy. Then let the chin rest towards the chest. Relax the shoulders. Relax the upper back, let the chin coming towards the chest more. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. One more in. And I'll gently raise your chest, raise your head. Crossing, sit it in a cross sector position. Slowly coming back towards the center. Hands on our shoulders as a bumblebee. Inhale, elbows together. Put it onto your face and exhale. Open and roll back. Feel the cracking of the shoulders. Inhale together. Your face. Up and back. Inhale together. Face up and exhale back. One more. Inhale together. Face up and back. We're going to bumblebee the other way. Inhale, elbows back and up. Exhale to your face and down. Inhale back and up. Exhale to your face. And down. Inhale back and up. Exhale to your face and down. One more in. And out. Great job. We're coming to a tabletop position. So kneel onto the mat. Uh, fold the mat for one time for the comfort of your knees or put a towel there. When you're in a tabletop position, making sure your hands is directly underneath your shoulders. Check that your knees are hip width the center apart. Your toes could be untucked or tucked. So put your spine in neutral position first and move your hands until it's underneath the shoulders. And it's good. Um, Adeline, can you relax the spine to straight? Yeah. Um, Gailey, you need to internal rotate your elbows to rotate the elbow in. So for this bit, rotate in. Great job. Inhale, arch your butt, look up towards the ceiling. Open up your chest and looking up. Exhale, crawling from the upper back, mid back, lower back. Push the belly button towards the spine. Inhale, arch up, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, crawling in from the neck, upper back, mid back, lower back. Really good job. Deeply inhale, arch up, look up. Adela, move the hand slightly in front. And exhale, crawl from the upper back. Neck back, lower back. Good job. One more in. And out. We are coming to neutral tabletop position and thread the needle for a shoulder stretch. We're going to inhale, lift the right hand, thread the right hand underneath the left shoulder, left armpit. Put the right shoulders onto the mat. Bend the left hand straight, slide in front. You need to make sure you're not crunching your lower back so you, your lower back is straight. If you're crunching, you need to slide your right shoulders forward a little bit or slide your knees back. Great adjustment, Annie. Gaily, slide your knees back or slide your shoulders front just a tiny bit. Yes. Lengthen the spine, beautiful, Adeline. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale, try to bring the left chest onto the mat more. So you are uh, stretching the right shoulders. Keeping 
everything unmoved except the hands. Inhale, left hands onto the ceiling. Open up the chest, twist your... Imagine you're trying to show the left chest towards the ceiling. Deeply inhale, twist. And exhale, twist even deeper. This should feels really good for the left shoulders. Now bend the left elbow, bring the left hands outside of the right waist and twist even more. Great job, everyone. So you are stretching your right shoulders and opening up the left. How does this twist makes you feel? Deeply inhale. And exhale, release the left hands onto the floor and next to your face. And slowly push yourself back up into a tabletop position. Really good job, guys, with all your self adjustment. Inhale, lift the left hand, thread it underneath the right armpit. And stretch your right hand forward. Imagine if you feel that your lower back is crunching, you need to slide the knees back, deepening the inhale. Adeline, you need to pull the knees towards your body a bit more, close the gap a bit more, deepening the inhale. Bring the right side of your chest closer to the mat so you feel the left shoulder stretching. Holding the pose here. Inhale, lift the right hands onto the ceiling. Opening up the chest, holding it here for one breath. So you still have pressure on your left shoulders, but you're opening up the right chest. Then bend the right arm, put the right arm onto the left waist or your left thighs. Deepening your inhale. Exhale, twist. Feeling the opening on lower back. You are stretching the left shoulders and also opening up the right. This pose is not just working on your shoulders, but also your lower back. The two in one pose, one more in. And I'll slowly release your right hand closer to your face, pushing yourself back to a tabletop position and onto child pose. We're going to do the whiny child pose, knee onto the outer edge of the mat, feet together. If this is your new class, grab the calf, roll the calf up and sit on it. So you get a much deeper stretch. After you sit on it, you're going to have Hands in front of you, inhale, open up the chest, arch your back. Then slide your hands down. The whole time, your hips doesn't lift your heels. Deepening your inhale. Relax the hips. Relax the thighs. Lengthen the lower back. As a counter pose for the twist that you have just did, Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Relax your upper back. Feeling the spine tall and straight. Straight. Any tension that you have hold for the week has just been released. We have stretched out your neck. We have stretched out your shoulders and we have even relieved your lower back. Imagining all the tensions from your body bubbling away, deepening the inhale and deepening the exhale. Child pose variation B. We're going to walk our hands onto the left hand side of our mat, our belly button on the left thighs and stretch our hands out. Deepening the inhale, great job girls. Straight arms, strong arms. Yes. Pull the right sitting bone down, left 
Right fingertips further away. So there's a really strong line from the right fingertips to the torso, to the right sitting bone. You're stretching out the torso as a side stretch. One more in. Walk the fingertips even further away, straight arms, straight hands. And out slowly, walk yourself back towards the center. Then walk yourself towards the right hand side. Bring the belly button on the right thighs. Deeply inhale. And it's a last sitting bone down onto the mat. Walk your left fingertips further away. There's a strong line from the left sitting bone to the left torso, to the left armpit, to the left forearm, to the left fingertips. Deeply inhale, straight arm, strong arm. So you're also stretching the shoulders. And exhale slowly, coming back towards the center. Coming back to a tabletop position, we're going to stretch out our um, wrist. Can you make sure your knees are hip width this and apart? Great job. Open up the hands, fingertips, mid finger, both planting 12 p.m. Then draw circles and stretch yourself, your wrist deepening your inhalation. And deeply exhale. Can you all open up the fingertips as wide as you can? Observe whether your thumb is straight in this pose. Can you straighten it? Drawing circles the other direction. The reason why our thumb is naturally curled, it's actually not nat naturally curled, it's curled in some of the yoga poses. It's because we use our thumb to text. So if your thumb is naturally curled, meaning that you're spending way too much time on your phone. So maybe it's time for a daily thumb and wrist stretch. Sitting back and exhale, stretch yourself the wrist deeply in. And uh, coming back towards the center, now left mid fingers pointing to 9 p.m., right mid fingers pointing to 3 p.m. So your hands is opening up. Yes. Checking your knees is hip with the center part. Then start drawing circles, deepening your inhalation. And exhale. Can you straighten all five fingers onto the mat? Take a look at your thumb again. Can you push it onto the mat? Imagine you're not just stretching out the wrist, but you're stretching the side of the thumbs. Then changing to the other direction, deeply in and out. In and out. Fingers strongly straight onto the mat. Hold palms open up, then sit back. Stretches out the outer wrist. Deepening your inhalation. Daily sit back more if you can. And exhale, relax the shoulders, all of you. Yes. Slowly coming back. Now meet fingers pointing towards each other. So right meet fingers to 9 p.m. Left meet fingers to 3 p.m. Yes, great job. Slowly drawing circles. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Draw circles the other way. Notice whether your palms your fingers is completely straight for five of them. Do you need to straighten your thumbs? Stretching not just your wrist, but your thumbs. And slowly exhale, sit back as much as you can. It doesn't have to be much, but you're stretching the outer wrist near the pinky. Relax the shoulders, deep breath in for two, three, Four, and deep breath out for two, three, four. One more breath in. And out. Slowly coming back towards the center. Pointing mid fingers towards your body. 
making sure your hands is not opening too wide. Opening up the fingers. Notice how your thumb behave. Then slowly draw circles. It will be a much smaller circle on this way. Deeply in. And out. Drawing circles the other way in. And out. One more in. And out, holding it to the center. Then open up all your fingers and especially your thumb. Then with the whole fingers and palms onto the mat, sit back a little bit, stretch us the inner wrist. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale, relax the upper arm and relax the shoulders. Inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two, three, four. Now only the fingertips onto the mat and lift the palms. So you are stretching out the fingers deeply in. And deep. Oh, great job. Slowly coming to a sitting position. Um, relax the wrist. Just relax the wrist and flick it. Like wave it. Maybe draw circles. Maybe just release it this way. This may feel really intense if you have been in the laptop all day. Coming to double pigeon. We're going to flex our left feet. Use your right hand to grab our left feet. And the left hand could be on the cuff or could be your left elbow holding your left uh, thighs like a baby. So pick one that feels good. I usually feel that holding her cuff gives me better movement. And inhale, draw circles with your hip bones. Out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in, really good job. Then draw circles the other way. Down, out, up, in. Down, out, up, in. Flex the left toes so you feel a deeper stretch. Start drawing circles. The reason why we warm up our hip bone this way is because our hip bone is in this circular ball shape. So before we go for a strong stretch, it's really good to like, this is activating the lubricant. And draw circles the other way for two more rounds. Deeply inhale. And exhale. Use both hands to hold onto the left feet. Now, I call it baby listening to the telephone. Hello, hello, hello. Opening up the left hip. Feeling the opening. Okay, I will talk to you later. Then put the left feet down. Flex the right feet. Grab the right feet with the left hands. Right hand onto the... Uh, calf. Now draw circles again. Up, push it out. Yes, down, in. Flex the right toes. Up, push it down. Down, in. Yes, now just start drawing circles. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Have you ever visited a baby that they would just grab their feet and stretch out their hips? It's because it's a circular bone. So it's really unusual that we sleep flat and it's not moving. Draw circles the other way. Out, up, in, down. Out, up, in, down. And start drawing circles. So this is actually really good that before the stretch, we're going to activate the lubricant on your joint before we hold. Then both hands onto the right hand. And call baby again. Hello, hello. Think about one happy thing that will happen this week and tell baby. Hello, I'm going to the park today and then I'm going to ice cream. And slowly put your feet down. For double pigeon, setting it up. We're going to flex the left feet. Put the left feet parallel to the mat. So it's not close to you, your feet is parallel up. So if I look up, it will be like a um, triangle. Yeah, so now flex the right feet. Put the right feet on the left thighs. Yes, closer to the knees. So not in, but closer to the knees. Yes. So if I look up, it will be a straight line. 
Now, have your hands grab the flesh of the butt up so you're sitting on your sitting bone. Deepening your inhale. Open up the chest, roll the shoulders back. And exhale. If there's a gap between the knees and the feet, if you have a towel, put it under so your knees feel more relaxed. Deepening your inhalation, maybe closing your eyes. And deepening, sending the exhale to the right hip. Inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for six, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale for four. Exhale for six. Keeping this inhale and exhale. Sending the exhale to the right hip. For this stretch, observe how your body feel. One is you feel nothing. Five, it's, it's really strong. If, you're at, if you are at a four and five, stay here. If you are at a three, inhale, hands up towards the ceiling, stretch yourself. Exhale, come forward 10 degrees or 20 degrees, no more than 30 degrees. The lower back straight. Hands relax anywhere. Keep the lower back long and straight. Yes. Deeply inhale. Feeling a deeper stretch on the right hip. Can you relax your belly while keeping your lower back long? So your right hip, feel it more. One more deep inhale for four. And exhale for six. Variation C, keeping the hips slowly have your waist and upper body come back up. We're going to a twist. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling, really stretch us up. Exhale, turn the torso towards the right. Left hands onto the right knees and open up towards the back. Inhale, lengthen the spine, belly button in. Exhale, twist and look beyond your right shoulders. Try to do inhale for four and exhale for six. Twisting is like in life. You don't want to go to the maximum twist at the beginning. You want to slowly ease your body in. It's like when there is challenge in life. You don't need to get to your goal right away. Slowly easing the body in. So in return, you'll be rewarded with an even deeper twist. Slowly release the upper body. Inhale, hands up. Just stretch out the lower back. And exhale, release. Straighten up the legs in front and just windscreen right at left and right. This is a really deep hip stretch, left and right. Going onto the other side, setting up onto the other side. Flex the right feet, put the right feet parallel onto the long edge of the mat. Flex the left, put the left onto the right thighs. Now grab the sitting bone. Uh, grab the sit butt cheek out so you're sitting on your sitting bone. Great job. Lengthen the torso, lengthen the spine. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Relax the shoulders. Maybe closing your eyes. Inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two, three, Four, five, six, deepening your inhalation. And deeply and softly exhale. Deeply in. And out, variation B, if you want to feel more. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Pull the belly button in and exhale, coming forward for 10 or 20 degrees, lower back long. Then relax your hands anywhere that feels good. Deepening your inhale, maybe closing your eyes. 
and exhale as long as you can. On the own rhythm, count your breath in and out. One more in. And out slowly, coming back, variation C. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, turn the torso towards the left. Right hand on the left knee, left hand back on the back of the mat. Making sure your spine is straight. Deeply inhale, pull the belly button in. Exhale, twist. J, making sure you're in the middle. Lengthen the spine from the hips. Feeling your, not just your left hips, but your left lower back opening. Same thing with every exhale. You twist even more. This may be challenging for your body, but remember, just like in life, when you are faced with unexpected turn and twist, you can rely on your breath. One more in. And out slowly coming back towards the center. Straighten up your feet. Last two poses will be on the wall. If you have a wall, bring your mat onto the wall so you can have feet up the wall. If you don't have the wall, you just lean back. Just two more poses before the passing. The first pose is figure of four. So you can also do it on the mat. You just need to hold your uh, uh, thighs. So feet onto the wall. What you want to do is uh, hands in T-shape. Maybe you want to move the computer next to your face so you can see me better. Up to you. Inhale, flex the right feet up. Exhale, put the right feet on the left thighs. Pushing the right knee closer to the wall. If you want to feel more, what you want to do is wiggle yourself closer to the wall. If this is way too much for your hips, then wiggle yourself away. Find the perfect spot that you can stay. Deeply inhale. Exhale, push your right knee out. Yes, good job, Gailey. Deeply in. Feeling the right sitting bone out. So this knee closer to the wall. Yes. Relax here, deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale, feel the right hip opening. One more in. And out, holding it here, new pose for everyone. Slide your left feet onto the mat or onto the bottom of the wall. Then drop the lower part of your body towards the left. Hands in a T-shape. Same as Gailey, hands in the T-shape, drop the lower part of the body towards the left. So you're having a spinal twist. Thanks, Annie. Really good pose. Can you relax your lower back? This is an amazing stretch that comes from the right thighs. Relax the right thighs. Relax the right hip. Relax the right lower back. One more in. And out, slowly coming back with both feet onto the wall, setting up onto the other side. Inhale, flex the left feet. Put the left feet on the right thighs. Then relax the lower back onto the mat. Push your left knee closer to the wall. The wall is an amazing prop for deeper stretch because our body can feel relaxed. Deepening your inhalation. And deeply exhale. 
One more inhale. And exhale. Then slide the right feet towards the down lower part of the wall. Then bring the lower part of the body all towards the right side. Your head should be in T-shape and you look towards your left fingers. Relax your left hips. Relax your left torso. So the stretching is coming from the left thighs to the left hip to the left lower mat. One deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. Slowly coming back towards the center. This is going to be the last pose. Gaily, go to happy baby. For people on the wall, you're going to slide your feet up, then onto the upper forearm, upper arm. Wiggle yourself until your butt touches the wall. So your feet could be completely straight up. Yes, open up the hands next to your ears. Deepening your inhalation. And deepening the exhale. Inhale, palm your feet, slide your heels up. Exhale, palm the toes. Then slowly slide your feet to a V-shape. Gaily, you can join us by putting your feet onto V-shape and hands onto the thighs. Everyone else with the wall, just let the wall do the job. Yes, inhale, flex the toes, pushing the heels further away. Exhale, palm. Inhale, flex the toes. Exhale, palm. One more, inhale, flex the toes. Exhale, pawn, and just relax your hips. Relax your lower back. Relax your inner thighs. Relax your knees, it's okay to be a bit bent. It's better to be a bit bent. Relax your calf, let the wall Support the weight of your legs. Let the lower back and the upper back, the whole back sinking onto the mat. Relax the shoulders. Three more breath before Safasana. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale for six. Deeply in and out. One more inhalation and exhale. Gently open up your eyes, hands onto the thighs, bend your knees and slowly, very gently close it. Your knees on top of the chest. For Savasana, you can wiggle yourself away from the wall and lie flat onto the mat. Or if you want, you slide your feet up the wall and relax your hamstring. See what makes you feel more relaxing. Then gently close your eyes. Relax your head. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. Relax your upper back. Relax the mid back. Relax the lower back. Relax the thighs. Relax the hips. Relax the hamstrings. Relax the knees, relax the calf, the whole feet and ten toes. Relax the arms, 
and relax every part of your body, Savasana. Slowly coming back to the room, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, hands over head. Give yourself a big, big stretch, stretch your heels up the wall. Then bend the knees, roll towards the right hand side with the eyes closed. With the eyes closed, push yourself into a sitting position with the left hands. Sit in a cross-legged position. If you have the wall, push your put your back onto the wall so you feel more relaxed. Deeply inhale and deeply exhale. How does your shoulder and your neck feel? Deeply inhale. And exhale, how does your back feel? Deeply inhale. And exhale, how does your hip feel? Knowing that you have released all the tension that you have hold from the week. We are going to breathe in for one big breath together. Then we'll sing one om and three shanti to end the class. Deeply inhale into the belly. And exhale, letting all tension go. Inhale for singing of om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in prayer position in front of our heart. May our heart be filled with peacefulness, gratefulness, and happiness. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming to class. Tell me how do you girls feel? One favorite pose 